Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 23rd, 24th. I cut the deck, and I'm using the vice versa deck, so there's stuff on both sides, so they both have different meanings, right? Um, this is for all signs. It may not be for you. This reading is for somebody. Could be one person. Could be five. Could be a thousand. Who knows? You might not be in that mix. You may be, you may not be. So, I cut the deck and we got the Seven of Swords right on the top. And it looks as though there's been some sort of battle. Okay, there's been some sort of battle. And... This guy is walking away. He's he's leaving it behind. He's taking what he can and getting the hell out of there. So he's going to get caught doing something because it looks as though there's been somebody has something's been hidden. Okay, something's been hidden. So eventually it's going to come out and he's going to get caught. So he may be thinking, thinking, thinking he's getting away with it. He's, he's getting out of there, but he ain't really getting away with it. Okay. So somebody is going to get caught, whether they get caught this week or the truth comes out this week or something happens, you know, be prepared. Stuff can only be hidden for so long. That's what I'm trying to say. The truth can only be hidden for so long. Yeah. And maybe you've been getting prepared for this truth to be, to come out. Waiting patiently for the truth to come out, huh? Somebody has been waiting and waiting and waiting, investing, waiting to see something else, but it looks like you haven't given up hope, but you're close to giving up hope. I mean, you brought the shovel with you in case you need to dig up the tree. It's like you're, you're like, oh, I'm not sure if it's dead or not. So I think that... Somebody, definitely patient. Somebody has been patiently waiting for something. This Magician card is a card of manifestation, right? Maybe you have gone through some sort of awakening while you were waiting, right? I mean, that's what happens. You go into seclusion, you wait and you wait and you wait, and as you are waiting, you are waking up. You're shedding. You're becoming more aware. You're becoming one with yourself, one with the divine. I mean, this is a oneness, so... Yeah, you've been waiting for something to happen. And during this period, you have changed, right? You have changed. King of Cups. Oh, Queen of Cups. Both in the, you know, with their backs turned to each other. It looks like there's a man and a woman that are not communicating. They're both going within. They're both withdrawing from the situation and trying to gather their emotions, trying to figure out what they want, where they're, you know. <laughs> looks like it's a soulmate connection as well. I mean... That's what it looks like to me. It's a 
it's a couple. We have a couple here that have turned their backs on each other and they're both trying to figure out what their heart wants, okay? And it's like they're, I feel like there's like a, um, like te telepathic communication here, okay? What she says, he hears. These two people don't need to communicate verbally to communicate okay they don't they're they're communicating um through the universe through oneness kind of um there's a divine connection here there is a divine connection but it looks like both of these people have turned their backs But they're still talking to each other, not verbally, but telepathically. This man, you gotta look at what's mirroring each other. This man, the man in this dynamic, it may be thinking that this is dead. Be ready to call it quits. I'm, you know, I'm real, really close to calling this quits. Digging up the roots that have grown. And walking away. I mean, we have a man that's ready, that's real close to giving up. We have a woman who's waiting. She's waiting. She's waiting for her ship to arrive. She's been getting prepared for it. But I think she's growing weary as well. I do. I think that she's starting to turn inward because she's been waiting for a long time. Communication could be coming in. Ooh, judgment. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out the rest of these cards because I feel like it's time. So we do have a, a man that's in the process of making a judgment call. You know, he's, he's trying to make that judgment call. He is going through an awakening as well, realizing that something needs to be done. Something needs to be done. Um, he's been, somebody has been keeping to themselves not speaking how they truly feel just just going through a period of change manifestation developing themselves spiritually waking up somebody has absolutely positively gone through some sort of awakening and now it looks like perhaps this man is thinking about how he's going to take back control the control that has been that he's lost you know I feel like he may have had some there's been some addictions there's been some obsessions there's been some manipulation there's been some lies I mean, this is a devil card we have a man that is
It looks like he's ready to face his fears. And love. This woman has been holding on, waiting, holding on for dear life, waiting for that moment that this man was going to stop lying or something like that because the devil brings lies and deceit. Forgiveness is needed. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Remember that Seven of Swords that came out in the beginning? Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Yeah, absolutely. That somebody has been keeping to themselves for quite some time. Some, so it's going to be some sort of Revelation of some sort. That perhaps puts the power right in this man's hands. Gives him back his control. I don't know what it is. Whatever this connection is, it's it's part of the script. It is definitely this is part of the part of the written script. It's part of the script. And somebody has been perhaps manifesting a reconciliation. I mean, this is a reconciliation card, the judgment card it is. Manifesting a reconciliation. Waiting for that perfect time. to make that offer. But I feel like with this devil card, there's some sort of self-sabotage This man may not be able to communicate verbally because he's too afraid. The devil brings fear. The devil brings addictions and other shit to mask your fears, right? They do. To help you to escape. The devil brings things to help you escape. So this man has been trying to escape covering up his true feelings, right? With a little bit of help from the devil. But in this woman's been holding on, waiting, 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 holding on for dear life. Resisting letting go. She has been. She's been resisting letting go. Hmm. There could be some communication coming in from somebody that you had given up on or they had given up on you. Perhaps there's an opportunity for a reconciliation here. Somebody has gone through some sort of awakening. Now they're seeing the situation clearly. They've made some serious, they've taken some action to ch make some changes within themselves. They're definitely aware. Somebody has, has woken up, okay, because these are all awareness, okay, all three of these. Somebody has come to a new awareness. About a partnership. Oh my goodness, Nine of Cups. 
There's an opportunity. You this is a, there's an opportunity for happiness, wish fulfillment. It's like this is what I want. The angels heard that call. I mean, that's like a call horn to me. Whenever I see it, it's like a horn where you, you speak into it and it speaks out to the world. And this is a call as well. Judgment call, okay? So the call has been heard. Somebody has manifested... Wish fulfillment, happiness, they have. Justice reversed. Perhaps they got themselves in a karmic situation because they didn't tell the truth. The sort of truth is, is barren or whatever it is. It's got weeds on it. It hasn't the truth has not been told. The scales are on the ground. It's like they've been through a period of imbalance. There's been dishonesty here. Things are falling apart. The, the throne is falling apart. And that's the way karma goes. That's the way karma goes, right? There's been a lack of imbalance, lack of peace, lack of harmony. A lack of fairness. Things haven't been going right for this person that tried to escape reality. Tried to escape the truth. There was somebody in this dynamic that didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And now there's an opportunity for a union. For two people to come together in love. And this is absolutely a gift. See the angel is bringing two people together that are meant to be. So whether this is somebody new or a reconciliation... There's an opportunity for love here with somebody that is perfect, perfect for you. You may need to forgive the past. I mean, this the judgment is releasing the past and forgiving. You could be receiving communication from somebody new because the lover's card usually signifies somebody new. Okay, let's be real here. There could be communication coming in from somebody new that is perfect for you. And you've been getting prepared for it, but the last step is forgiveness. Maybe this new person is somebody that you have manifested. Maybe you need to forgive because you were treated unfairly, right? Whatever this is, there's an opportunity for a perfect union. Perfect. If you can let go of some sort of obsession, it looks like from the past. Let's, let's clarify this judgment card. Judgment card is a release. It really is. It's a wake-up call. Release the past. You're so close. Keep Do it. Forgive yourself. A secret is about to be revealed here. Some sort of truth is about to be a secret or truth or something is about to be revealed. 
that brings that allows you to take back your control of some sort whatever that is it's gonna whatever is happening whatever happens could bring you together with your perfect match It looks like, I mean, this is a six of wands. This is victory and success, making progress. Being recognized. Somebody is recognizing that you are their wish fulfillment. Or you could be recognizing that somebody is yours. Somebody has recognized all your hard work, all your effort, your nobility. And perhaps now they're going to communicate. You could be receiving communication from somebody that is ready to fight for you. Maybe they see that they have competition, right? They see that they do have competition. There's a choice here. A choice between the past and a choice between the future. There is. I was going to say it. I should have just said it. This person in the past has turned their back on you. Now they see that you have, that they have competition they see that you're being recognized by many. And now they want you. Somebody has been, been brought wish fulfillment because they worked hard to shed the old, to become one, to wake up and heal. Oh, this is amazing. There's a choice between two. There's, it's like there's two people battling here. There's a choice between two people. The past and the future. There is. What are you going to do? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Both of these have soulmate qualities. They do. All of a sudden, you have this new connection that is beautiful. And somebody else wants a reconciliation. There could be a fight. <laughs> there could be. There could be a fight. Oh, yes. This is going right here. It's the Page of Wands. Try to stay focused because there's a lot of passion to be had. You, and this is a new suitor, you have somebody that is better suited for you than whoever this is that turned their back. This person that turned their back is letting their addictions rule them. You have a better opportunity, a better suitor that is being brought to you from above and you have to make a choice. Do you stay obsessed over this person that can't communicate, is sabotaging the relationship, or do you allow this new love that has been brought to you from above to grow? 
Because it looks like, I mean, this looks like the phoenix rising, right? It looks like you have risen. And there's an opportunity from uh, for a lot of passion with someone new. You have to make a choice between two. So be prepared to make a choice. It is Venus retrograde after all, is right, right? I feel as though there has been some sort of awakening. Somebody from your past may want a reconciliation. And you may have already uh, come in contact or found somebody new. If you haven't, there is somebody new coming on coming into the scene. There is. This person is not your usual type, but there's an undeniable spark, an undeniable attraction, and there's an opportunity for a lot of growth. This person can help you rise again from your ashes. They're going to help you rise again. But you're going to have to open your heart. Whoever didn't treat you fairly, whoever wasn't honest with you, forgive, release. And allow whatever it is that you manifested to make you happy. Because you manifested wish fulfillment. Now they're bringing you a wish fulfillment. A dream come true. Don't throw it away. For somebody. That doesn't know how to communicate verbally. So yeah, I feel like there's a new suitor on the horizon. Somebody that is going to help you to heal, to rise above. You probably, if you haven't met this person, be prepared for this person to enter your life. They are going to help you to bring peace and harmony back. This is another, another soulmate connection. Because we have two people here that refuse to communicate. So it's never going to work. It's never going to work. If you can't, if there's no communication, it's never going to work. Now there's a new opportunity for love with somebody that is going to look you in the face and hold your hand. And help you rise. But you're going to have to make a choice. There could be some drama. There could be some drama. Because now somebody sees that they have competition. And the truth could come out. Woo! These two are not, okay? Embrace your emotions. Embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. These two have been pushing down their feelings. They have. Now it's time to embrace them, feel them, accept them. And release them. It looks as though there's an unexpected choice in love. There's going to be some communication that comes in. Probably from two people. And you have to make a choice. There's an exciting new partnership waiting for you.
whoever this person is that wants a reconciliation, it's already dead. It's dead. The tree is dead. What more can I say? You can't get growth out of a dead tree or a dead end situation. You might as well dig it up and go plant your seeds elsewhere because you have an opportunity for a new soulmate connection with somebody that is going to love you for love the skin that you're in. They don't care what you look like. They don't care where you came from. They want to work as a team. They want to hold your hand. They want to walk beside you. My advice is to keep going. Hold your head up high and try on by. You have a better opportunity that's going to present itself to you if you can master your emotions and see that what is done, what is dead, is dead. You can't bring it back to life. Good luck.